What the fuck is the hype house? Hey guys, what's going on? Chase here. So originally I was gonna make this video all about uh, one of the members of the hype house called Alex Warren, but I, <clears throat> I took a further peek. I took a further look into what the hype house is and I kind of want to go over it because it's starting to be uneasy with me. I've been working on this video for like a week now. I've been doing research on just one of the members and I decided that like, I couldn't figure out how to phrase how I wanted to um, talk about one of the members, but instead I'm just gonna talk about everybody and my problem with this whole hype house fiasco, okay? The hype house is something that started on TikTok. These kids bought a house and now all these TikTok stars go there and they all started to make TikToks there and they're all becoming popular from it. And that's cool and all, but these people are, some of these people are underage. I'm gonna, two of them are underage. Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson, which I had just made a revelation right before I started the camera. I've talked about Chase Hudson before. He was in the, way back in the e-boy cringe video a few months ago, and he was the one that got caught saying the N-word, and then his apology turned out to be a thirst trap. I'm gonna be hopping from person to person, but I'm not done with Chase Hudson yet. Like I said, white people ruin everything. He thinks he can dance. He knows we're the wrong skin color. Why is he doing it? Well, he thinks he can say the N-word too. Some fucking bitch ass nigga from Germany. From what I can tell, it looks like he got jumped in Germany. He has like a nose thing. He has like a thing, like somebody broke his nose. Um, let me try to find a better video. I didn't do that research well enough. Nice. What did, so he made an apology for saying the N word. I just wanted to apologize to everyone in the TikTok community. But this is the worst apology I've ever seen. It's like a thirst trap mixed with apology. He's sitting there like, hey man, I'm so sorry I was racist. Um, I didn't mean to say it, but I said it. What? What? And I want to apologize to the black community as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> who Chase Hudson is. He is 17 years old. Um, he has become a huge um, center of attention for TikTok because he's dating this other very, f dating this other very famous TikToker named Charlie D'Amelio, which she is 15. And the weird thing about this is she is at the hype house all the fucking time, but she's 15. And everybody at the hype house is over the age of 18. Besides Chase and Charlie, Chase and Charlie, which is super strange because I don't understand why you would have underage people there. 17 years old, you're almost 18. Like I get it. Like you could have been graduating high school by now, but like Charlie D'Amelio, she's could be a freshman or sophomore in high school and everybody else can be in college. That's freaking weird. And I, I've been I've been looking through some TikToks, trying to find out like why I think it's so weird. And can you can you can you get out of the way? Can you like move? Yeah. Can you um, here sit on my Xbox? I want to start off with a guy named Thomas Petrow. He is 21 years old, and he made a really unset. Like I don't think people understand like the whole age problem. Like people are like, oh, she's just a friend. Like you're 21 and you're 15. Like that's a weird age problem. So here, here's a TikTok. Chase, download this TikTok right here. Always get shotgun. Did you just say that you're my best friend, Charlie? I'm we are best friends, Thomas. Yeah, we are, but I'm also best yeah. friends with Chase. So you both get front seat. All right, fuck it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this 21 year old is arguing that He's best friends with this 15 year old, but he's also best friends with this 17 year old. Bro, that's weird. That's super strange. Why? That's so weird. I can't fathom why you would even post something like that. Like they're, they're, uh, they're, what the fuck is this shit? So then I have a whole nother problem with a guy named Alex Warren. Ow. I have a whole nother problem with a guy named Alex Warren. Who's Alex Warren? He's a David Dobrik wannabe. I originally made, I originally wanted to make the video about him and I made a bunch of points about how he's copying David Dobrik and 
I'm just gonna run through it super quick, just a quick rundown of everything he's copying from David. Psych IRL made a very professional video about this. I'm not a professional guy, and I'm not gonna make a professional video about this, so let's run it through, all right? He's an eight, he's a 19 years old and he's inviting 15 year olds to his hype house. That's freaking weird. He's copying all of David's thumbnails. He is copying his laugh. His comedic timing is exactly like David's. His outro changed from when he first started to now it's more of a David Dobrik style uh, outro. The skits are very, very similar. Like they did, a, he did a lottery prank and it's very similar to one of the lottery pranks David did on one of his friends. Um, his whole format changed from since he started. He is using the recommendations from David Dobrik's videos to try to become David Dobrik himself. And in his videos, he jokes about it, but like it's, he's making his videos to a T and it's super strange. Um, the titles of his videos are almost exactly like David's and his overall style is like David. He addressed this in one of his videos. He said, people who don't know who, who haven't watched my videos don't understand how we're different. And um, the people who don't, people who are commenting stuff like this just are haters, which is a very easy way out. He also said he's not copying David Dobrik and he'd be ignorant to say that um, he wasn't inspired by him. There's a difference between inspiration and copying. And this kid is just all out copying. All of these Hype House members are all slime balls. They all look like, look at, look at this video. Bro, that is the weirdest cast of characters I've ever seen. It looks like all of them bought some tiki torches and they're all ready to storm the White House when Trump uh, gets impeached. Like, Jesus Christ, you couldn't find a better cast of people. What kind of talent is freaking this, this, all, all, what kind of talent is thirst trapping? I never understood this kind of talent and I freaking hate it, hate it so much. That's my rant for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. If you guys liked it, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. Um, if you guys want to check out my Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash true underscore calling. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys later.